TV. We are on our way to Newcastle, the longest drive for any Arsenal fan in the Premier League. Um, it is, uh, you know what? That's what I admire. I admire um, Newcastle fans here because literally every drive they do is like miles and miles. I think the nearest club they go to is Leeds, right? And even that's about probably about an hour and a half, two hour drive for them, right? You know. How many, how many London clubs is about? How many London clubs says so? What, loads. seven London clubs? Yeah, they got to travel down it. Doing this drive, mate, doing this journey <laughs> that many times is a nightmare. And not even just that. Yeah, but we've only, what I'm saying is we've only got to do it once, right? Yeah, we've got to do the stairs as well, right? right? Up the yeah, I know, but New, Newcastle fans, they've got, Newcastle fans have got to do, what, I think seven London clubs. They've got to do Southampton. Got to do they've got to do well. Bournemouth. They've got to do Brighton. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> fair play. Mean? Fair play to them, man, you know what I mean? But it's a long ass drive for us and it's a very, very difficult game. As a matter of fact, most people, um, I think, don't think we're gonna do this today. I, I already woke up this morning and got big Steve, Man City fan, sending me pictures of sharks and all that <laughs> and saying, oh, you better not slip up today. And we can't afford to, that's the thing about today's game. We can't afford to slip up to the end. No, we can't, we can't. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an annoying one because a lot of us, we've done the previews, Rob, and a lot of us are printing, you know, draws. I speak to a lot of Arsenal fans this week and they're not massively confident. But we need to we need to be behind, we need to, we need the three points. Let's be honest, if, if, Man, if there's any hope of Man City slipping up, we need to be breathing down there next. As much as you're getting sharks sent to you by Big Steve, I had him join the live on the week, this week as well, saying with sharks as well. So I hope they slip up, whether it's in the Champions League or they do drop some points in the Premier League so we can you know, hopefully take the opportunity yeah, and go in the league. If if we're to have any, any glimmer These are the of winning the league, and this, of course this. yesterday, as we all thought they would, they dispatched off Leeds. Sam um, Allardyce, right. what happened to the talk? What happened to the big talk? Uh, Sam, that's, a, that's a big rubbish, right? <laughs> now, the thing is, right, if we've got to have any chance of winning the league, I think we have to win today. I think if we lose this game today, um, I think it's over. I think if we draw this game today, it's probably, it's just a slight Same. glimmer. And, th and this is where those games against Southampton and West Ham have really cost us because when you looked at the running, these were the games where you needed that insurance policy. But that's gone now. That's gone. There's no plan B. There's only one plan. And that is we have to go to St. James's Park and win. And it's a very difficult place. Only Liverpool have won there this season. You know, it's tough. And uh, we know that they're a very, very good side. And not only that, they're on form at the moment. But listen, this Arsenal team, we are above them. We are, you know, quite a few points above Newcastle. And that's been for a reason. Yeah, exactly. And that's because we've been great on the road this season. But we're going to have to show it today. And especially defensively, I feel. I, I, I fancy us going forward. I think we've got, going forward, we can hurt any team. But can we keep them out? That is going to be the thing, Cecil. They're going to have to dig deep. They're going to have to really dig deep. Because listen, these Newcastle fans, they, like we like we expect, it's going to be rocking today, Robbie. Like To think they're in Champions League positions, actually still, it, it doesn't blow my mind, but I am shocked how fast this this uh, surgence has happened for, for Newcastle. So they're going to be rocking. They're going to they're gonna come at us. They're going to be confident. Oh, we've got to be, like you said, they're resolute in the defence because that's where... Yeah. I'm worried about if I'm completely honest, especially if the, with the attack they've got. They've got Isadel, Callum Wilson on good form, Joe Willock's on good form, they've got Joe Linton in there, they've got Bruno Gomar. They've got good threats going forward, and I know you're going to say so do we, and I, I don't, do not um, deter from that, we definitely do, but it's Newcastle. Yeah, well, the, and the one, thing, the one thing at the moment, they've got a very solid defence, right? And yeah. um, that's what we don't have at the moment, you know what I mean? And uh, with Saliba being out, we, we don't have that. So, um, Listen, we can see why everybody favours them today, but Arsenal can beat Newcastle just the same as Newcastle can beat Arsenal. And that's probably why this game is the main game of the weekend, yeah. because it is one of those unbelievably good games. And we owe them something. Remember last year when we went there, we were both there. It was a horrific display by Arsenal. Sort of worst. reminded me, sort of reminded me of Chelsea's display against us the other night, where we went. You know what I mean? We were really, really passive. They were really aggressive and they beat us. I think it was 2-0. Yeah. And to be fair, it could have been more. We were shocking on that day. And um, I hope those players who played in that game remember that they owe us a performance for that night. That was the night when we were officially sort of blew yeah. the league. So, you know, getting into the top four. So, yeah, listen, I've been calling it as a draw. 
you know what? Let me go. Let me go for a win. Let me go for an Arsenal win, man. Let me go for a Arsenal. Tell them we're going to do this, Just bro. because I'm like, tell them we're yeah, going to do Listen, this. Man, I mean, my, my team's been great for me this season, man. So, you know what I mean? I said a, I said a draw in the preview. I'm on my way up to Newcastle now. Um, I'm nowhere, we're nowhere near there yet, right? So probably when I get nearer there, it's all going to change. But right now, I'm going 2-1 to the Arsenal. We're going to do this. What are you saying? <laughs> I predicted 2-1 defeat, but I'm going to go with, I'm going to change to a draw, a 2-2 two -two draw. We're going to do this. <laughs> Let's hope we can, man. But listen, uh, long trip, long, long journey for every Arsenal fan going up there today. Um, but let's hope that we can return back with the three points and keep that pressure on Manchester City. Introducing Fanzo. My friend Elliot from Canada. We are still we are top of the league. 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 Allows any fan anywhere you are on the planet to broadcast live into our shows at the push of a button via our website or app. Well, I'm tired of hearing about the Europa League like it's silverware. So is the League Cup. So is the Dubai Cup. So is the Community Shield. Ah, uh, Michael and Cobble, I... and they're not the same level. No, I mean it! <laughs> <laughs> Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. Fan Zone on AFTV+. Plus. You can download it on iOS or the Play Store and have your say. Welcome back to the Forever Arsenal podcast. Black, white, young, old, you know, knees on there, you know, disabled, abled, man, but it doesn't... Smith Rowe didn't get a minute yesterday, not a minute that needs minutes. Where's he going to get his minutes from now? Get your, get your notifications on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Tactical, tactical chat tomorrow. <laughs> I think the idea of Mesut Ozil was, was, was better than the actual reality of Ozil at Arsenal. For the, your mic, not turn your camera off. For the audio listeners, uh, Lee's yeah. Lee, Lee, yeah. in pieces. Lee's in pieces. Oh, I have it. <laughs> Hi, and welcome along to the Invincible Podcast. Lee Judges and me <laughs> in the building. That was Robbie's question. Can we win the Premier League? <laughs> it ain't as easy as that, you know. Well, no, like, yeah, you're arse over here, we're arse. Make sexual innuendos at me on things like that, like, I think it's disgusting, you know what I mean, like. I can't work with you. We've spoken about it before. I probably will have to quit. You ruined, I've had my childhood ruined by <laughs> Arsenal. And now my adult life is going to be ruined by <laughs> Arsenal. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.